Hi you guys, it's Kimberly. So uh, quite a while back I had done this tag and um, I had picked a winner for it but the person that won it never contacted me. So when I was reorganizing my craft room I found it and I said oh I never mailed that out because the person that won never contacted me so I am going to put um, the numbers, here's the list, I saved everything and I am going to put the numbers back into random.org and I had 14 people that followed the rules to the giveaway so I'm going to put 1 through 14 back into random.org and pick a new winner so I've got it pulled up here on my computer so let's change this to 14 and generate and so the new winner is number seven beware so I am gonna go back to that video let's see go to YouTube my channel Um, let's go to videos. Let me find that and see. I don't think that I can. Here it is. Go to. I can reply to that person. But let me try. Um, that was the video where I chose the winner, so. Let me go back to the actual video where I made the tag. I know it was... Here it is. Hello, Waverly. It was one of the first videos that I... that I did when I started crafting here. It's this person here. Yep, see, I can't comment, so I don't know that this person is even gonna... know that they won. Hello, Waverly. So let me comment to them. Let me reply. You won. Contact me ASAP. with in 24 hours please and faith unedited it's hard to type with one hand gmail.com <clears throat> Thank you very much. So we'll see if they reply. Okay, so you can all see my message right there. Okay, so if I don't hear from them within 24 hours, we'll just redo it. Okay, so that's one thing I wanted to take care of. I'll put her over there. Um, another thing I wanted to show you is I made some more of these little bags out of my Ace Hardware envelopes. So these ones I did really fast. I just used um, sheets of um, designer scrapbook paper. And I just, I was able to get four out of a sheet 
these were just eight and a half by 11 sheets of scrapbook paper, but I was able to get four bags out of each sheet. So that was good. And I didn't do any more to them. I just, I needed to get them out fast because I'm going through them so quickly. So I did those and then I also did the back in the same paper. Okay, so I didn't craft yesterday because I went shopping yesterday instead, and it was the 4th of July, so um, we watched fireworks from our neighbor's front porch, and what else? Let me put this back up on its tripod. Okay, I have my desk light on because it's in a storm so the sun kind of went away painted my fingernails you guys were probably getting really tired of looking at my half painted thumbs but all of my nails broke off and sometimes I just think it's not even worth painting because they get so wear so much wear and tear when I'm doing all of this stuff that I don't even bother because probably in a day they're going to look all cruddy again, but... but I went to Michael's yesterday and I only got a couple of things and now I'm on a buying freeze because my husband told me how much that I've spent and um, yeah, it was too much, so no more of that, but I found this washi tape. And it had this price on the front of it, $14.99. But up here it had $12.99. And I really wanted it, but I put it back because it was just, that's like way too expensive. But then I went over to where they had, this is called the Color Splash from Recoll Recollections. And it was all 60% off. And I don't have the receipt. I already put it away. But that made it like $5.99. And somebody had sent me some Happy Mail with this one. And I made one of my applique, I think it was the applique heart, and I used it to put on the applique heart dangle that I kept for myself because I saved all of that um, washi tape that other people had sent me. And this was one of the tapes and I just loved it, but I had never seen it before because I don't typically buy that much, you know, expensive, never. I've never bought expensive washi tape. I've always gotten mine from the Dollar Tree. But when I saw this, I'm like, oh, I have to have it. So it came with, with this one. And it came, and I don't know what they all say. I don't really want to unroll it, but let's see. Hello, sunshine. That's what this one says. This one, is it just, it just says happiness. That's what it says, happiness. This one. Says amazing. Make to make today amazing. This one says dream. Change is beautiful. Love you. Be wonderful. And shine bright. So there's six, eight, eight tapes in there. I got those. 
This is Michael's, by the way. I don't know if I said that. So for $5.99, that's good. That's better than a dollar a piece. These are out of their dollar fifty bin. These ones have XOXO. So these will be great for mixed media. This is the four duo. There's a cat and a mouse. Are you kidding me? And check me out. This one is a camera. And this one to the moon and back. It's one of my favorite sayings, I love you to the moon and back. And then I just thought this one was pretty. And these were all $1.50. And then this is also one of their Color Splash, Recollections Color Splash. And this was also 60% off. And my friend Sue, she made some ATCs with this butterfly on it the other day and they went just like that. People traded them so I wasn't able to get one of them. But I found this stamp that she used. So that's what they look like. That's the price, but it was 60% off. I got that. Has some really nice um, sediments on there. This is $1.50. So we can go with my K collection. These were 49 cents a piece. So I got those. And then I got two water, two things of water brushes. This was a color splash. So it was 60% off. And you get two brushes, but it only came with, um, let's see, the sizes are on here. A chisel tip and a medium tip. It says right there. Which is fine, I wanted those two. So the water brushes, if you don't know what they are, is you put the water in this reservoir and then it feeds water through the brush so you don't have to brush your or dip your brush in water to do watercolors. It just feeds the water into the tip brush tip. So then I went over and looked in where they have the adult coloring books and they had a fine tipped one. This was, I believe this one was $6.99, but I used a 60% off coupon for it. So it brought it down, I believe, to $2.99. And it's a Marvy brand. So I don't know how good these are, how good these brands are, but I've been wanting to get these. don't want to ruin the backer boards on these because I wouldn't be able to use them for tags. Some of them pop off really easy and some of them really glue their stuff down, so. tip is on that one. So you take 
take this off. And then you just put your water right in there. And they're called water in brush. And again, this brand is Marvy. And then these ones, one is a chiseled end. This is a medium tip. It's the same thing. Put the water in there. You see people using these all the time, but you really don't see a whole lot of people explaining them. And this is chiseled. Okay, so I'll let you know how those work out. Now as far as this guy, if you're careful enough, you won't pull up a lot of that paper. See, and then you can glue that down where it came up. You have a tag. And this was, I don't remember what this was, but this was a recycled tag. That's what this was made out of. Something I bought. So this will make a cute little tag of some kind. This you can reuse. You can reuse that for something, I don't know what. But I have a whole drawer of this kind of stuff. So don't throw that away. This, however, you can throw away. Although, if you wanted to, you could use this as like a paint can or something. Um, what else? Oh, I have um, a lady that I watch on YouTube. I'll link her channel below. She's so creative. She's so talented. Her name's Nina. I can't pronounce her last name. It starts with an R. But she's so talented, and she makes these gorgeous, she uses these to paint on, these finger paint, I think she buys the roll, but the rolls were like $9.99 and I wasn't going to do that, but they had these pads for $3.99 at Michael's, the, the Creatology line, which is their line of just like creative craft paints and stuff, mainly marketed for kids stuff, but this is the finger paint pads. And you have to make sure you get the finger paint ones because they're more of this waxy kind of paper. It's less absorbent. <coughs> it's more of a slicker kind of paper. But what she does is when she's doing mixed media, she puts this down as her drop, her drop um, paper. And then, you know, after she uses it for a while, she goes back and makes a piece of art out of this. So she'll go back and add some more paint to it. She'll stamp on it. And she'll just do all different kinds of stuff to it. And then she cuts this up either to use for um, a journal cover or she'll make ATCs out of it. She does all different kinds of stuff with it. And it, they come out looking really cool. So I wanted to get some of this to start using it as my um, drop sheets so that I, you know, I just, because normally now I just use um, wax paper and then I end up just tossing it away. But I wanted to get some of this to try to use her method. I'll link her channel below of some of her um, drop papers that she's made into really cool pieces of art and um, so that you can watch her channel and subscribe to her. She does some beautiful stuff so I got this as well. So that's it for today and um, I will see you guys all later. I hope you have a good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world, and God bless. Bye-bye.